Hey everybody, Ryan with Fluid Health and Fitness. Today showing you how to do self myofascial release of the suboccipital muscles. We're gonna be using body weight to get the job done. The suboccipitals are the deepest neck extensor muscles. They attach at the upper cervical and they're responsible for upper cervical extension and cranial extension along with rotation into the same side. They also uh, act to control the oblique eye um, control. So turning your eyes side to side, pretty trippy. Well, the bottom line again is if we wanna relax them with self myofascial release, we're gonna be doing a pressure inhibition into an active stretch, and that's called a uh, pen and stretch technique. And so we're gonna use the pressure of our fingers to get there. These muscles attach at the suboccipital or occipital bone here and they come down diagonally for to the first two vertebra. And again, they're just under the crease of your occipital bone. So if I take my fingers and I find that bulb, that bony outcropping of my suboccipital bone, if I go just underneath of it about an inch and then roll my fingers back and forth, side to side, you'll run into those muscles. Now they're deep because they lay underneath of the trap and some of these erector column muscles, the deepest muscle groups, but if you go in there, extend the, the cranium and turn your head, you'll feel them flex under your fingertips. Now you know where they're at, and you're just gonna push in a little bit and tension that muscle. Again, they're highly innervated. They get lots of nervous system information sent to the brain, 38 neurons per gram. So again, really, really sensitive muscles, so be very, very careful with this. You're not pushing hard. And all you're doing is just putting a little bit of pressure there, so no pain, just taking the slack out of the muscle. Heads uh, knotted up, a little bit of lateral tilt to the side, and you're just pushing in until the muscle softens. You'll feel it, the tension subside as the nervous system relaxes. And once you get to that point of neural inhibition, the passive inhibition, you're gonna actively stretch under the pressure of the fingers. So now I'm gonna tuck my chin, pull my head back, and rotate my head to the opposite side, and you'll feel the muscle tether down and tension under your fingers. You'll wait for the nervous system to relax again because the stretch impulse is going to kick in, keep you from stretching further. So you have to respect that, let it calm down first. Once it does, you'll feel it gently sink in. This isn't a lightning and thunder moment, so it's really subtle. It'll sink in. And then you're going to go again a little bit deeper. Cranial flexion, turn, look down a little bit. It's called a pocket stretch. You can look down at the opposite pocket and it'll stretch through it. Get a little bit deeper. You do that multiple rounds, just make sure it's neural to structural, neural to structural. No pain is felt whatsoever. And again, make sure that you don't push so hard um, that it changes the orientation of the neck and starts to move the vertebra around. You want to be really, really judicious about the pressure that you're using. So, questions on any of this, reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. But there it is, a self myofascial release of the suboccipital muscles.